following is an exclusive presentation of Prism Sports. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming your way next. So, almost ready to get underway and on the mound for Philadelphia in this one, Kyle Gibson. What do you look for here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. So, just about set. Here's some real power at the plate. Ronald Acuna Jr. The, the right fielder, number 13. Ronald Acuna Jr. The pitch. That one fouled off. First pitch, 7 o'clock. The 0 1. Not close with that one. 1 and 1. One and two now on Acuna. Acuna punches one foul right side. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. He leaves the yard to right, and the Braves have the lead now. It's 1-0. Well, we see this so much more today. Lineups with pop in the leadoff spot. It really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away. You can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in, get comfortable, because at the plate, the that guy's looking to do exactly Matt. what he just did. Start Olsen. the game off with a huge bang. Matt Olson takes a ball here as he stands in now. The wind and the pitch. Woo! Ball two. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Oh, and a pitch. Hey. That's in for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff oh, home run in an right. inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. The pitch. The punch out there. One out. Here's Austin Adam Riley. Burr, the third baseman, Austin Riley. And first offering is fouled off. Kick Sandios. Off the mark there, and it's one and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here's a one one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. 
He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Next offering way off the plate. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Marcel Ozuna. Marcel Ozuna. First offering, misses the mark. The 1-0. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One, one ball, and two. two. Next pitch has popped up. Brings it in. And that is that. Atlanta draws first blood with the solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. We go to the bottom of the first, and on the mound now, Charlie Morton. What do we need to know here? With the height, the release point creates a lot of tilt on his pitches. So coming into the zone, really hard for the hitters to get on plane. Makes it very difficult for the hitters to guess. Bottom of the first, and now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. And he deals. On a line, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Throw, and it gets away. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Now it's Alec Bohm. Batting second. The second baseman. Alec. Line Bowl. drive. Takes it in for the out. Batting third. As we take a gander at Joe Girardi's lineup for the Phillies. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Towards first, dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it, he's safe. Batting four, the right fielder. Yeah. Tough day, y'all know. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he saw that change up really well. Just a little early. Still barreled in, as you see. Home run distance. Just couldn't keep it fair. Two on, one out. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. One down, Phillies down a run. That's a base hit, run score. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field.
JT Real Muto steps in. Known for his rocket That's arm it. behind the plate. The catcher. JT Real Muto. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Duvall right there to make the grab. And yeah, there's two away. Batting six. The first baseman. Three. So first and second with two outs. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And fouled off. You won. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The next offering misses. Now one and two. So now one and two to Reese. And a ball evens the count. Uh, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Righty delivers. That one drilled left field. And a base hit right there. The run comes in from second. It's 2-1. Well done, drives in the run. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in back territory. And that right there was perfect. So two on with two away. And a batter now, Matt Beerling. The seven fielder. Matt Beerling. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Flares it towards left center field. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. We go on to inning number two. It's the Phillies two and the Braves one. Back here at the ballpark, Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Leading off for the Braves, the second baseman. The right-hander back Ozzie. to work. Albies. And there's the strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Batting six, the catcher, Travis. And Darno. now it's Travis Darno with the play. In there for strike one. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a bouncer. Fires over to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. That is seven. The center fielder number 14, Adam Duvall. Two outs, base is empty. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, 
Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Only two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Down in order go the Braves. They're down two to one. We head to the bottom of the second as Johan Camargo leading up for the Phillies. The third baseman, Johan Camargo. And the right hander back to work. There's a swing and a drive. That one back. And it hits the fence. And that's a leadoff double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. This is Bryson's stop. Batting nut. Not shortstop. Bryson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. No outs, runner on second. This one in the air center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now batting, left fielder, Kyle. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Olsen makes the catch. And there are two down. Yeah. Now back, second baseman, la, 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 Alex la, 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 la. Alec Bohm getting ready to hit. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Man at second. Out to short. And that will end the inning. One left for Philadelphia as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Now in for the Braves. For the Braves. Number 48. The left fielder, Travis Zamero. And the pitch. That's in there. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Swings and misses, and one away in the top of the third. Well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Dansby Swanson stands in. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. All in one now. That one's in there. And that is strike two. 
That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plane. The 0-2. Stays alive. And the 0-2. That's towards center. Deerland moving under it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. The right fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Next pitch is popped up. And that'll do it. Braves are set down 1-2-3, and they trail it here 2-1. to one. Welcome back, set for the bottom of the third, and now here is Harper. For the Phillies, the dedicated hitter, Brian Harper. Why to kick the pitch? Here we go. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. On to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The right fielder, number eight. Nick. Top day, Yano. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. The other way, and it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. One gone runner at first, and now it is JT Real Muto. Swings through that one, 0-1. And the right-hander deals. And that one fouled off. Let's get something going! And the righty deals. And a foul ball left side. Let it go! Here's the 0-2. Ball one there. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. And down on strikes, and there are two outs. Well, that's number always the key six, to effective pitching is getting ahead Three. in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows oh, yeah. you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. They take the force out, gets him easily, ends the inning. Phillies strand one, they lead it 2-1. Back here at the ballpark, and now Matt Olson up to hit. Leading off for Atlanta, the first baseman, Matt Olson.
The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Next one misses, and it's one and two. That's a really good take. Next offering is fouled back. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Next one is off the play. Two balls, no strikes. Two and one now. Way out front for strike two. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start it middle away, let it break, and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with a cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, and I think he was also a little lucky right there. Two outs, base is empty. Marcelo Zuna. Next up for the Braves. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. And the count, 1-2. Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Hoskins makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Braves go down quietly, and our score remains 2-1. Bottom of the fourth, here's the center fielder, Matt Veerling. Leading off for the Phillies, the center fielder, Matt Morton, Veerling. back to work. Line drive, takes it in for the out. Third baseman, number seven, Johan Camargo. Johan Camargo at the dish. Here we go. 
In the air, right field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Stop. And now the shortstop, Bryson Stock. And that one wrapped foul. The 0 1. Oh, that one rides up and in. Straighten him up a little bit. On the ground at first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the Phillies are set down in order. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they still lead it two to one. All set for the start of the inning. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. Off of the, break, the second baseman. Ozzie the pitch. Albies. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And it's even up. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Now batting. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Travis Darno. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Tarno checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. 0-2 now. Slice down the right side. <laughs> Phillies fans want a strikeout. Out to short. Zips it to first. And the first two set down in the top of the fifth. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit. Hit the ball on the ground. Kill some worms while you're at it. Adam Duvall at the plate. And that one fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That one fouled hard the other way.
Here comes a pitch. Smash down the left field line. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. No, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, dipped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. At the play, number 48. And a foul ball. And the 01. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And that is that. One left for Atlanta. They're down two to one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The Philly. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, it definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to. And the release point was a little bit off as well. He swings and fouls one off. And the 01. Not the best swing that time for the first round pick. Going to now. Line drive to short and caught. The batter, number three, designated hitter. Right. Harper. Here's Harper now. Next pitch has popped up. Olsen settles under this one. And there's two down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good the because right they're eye level, eight. but they're just about yeah. impossible to get the barrel to. Yeah, no. Now at the plate, Nick Castellanos. Fought off foul. <laughs> The pitch. And it's fouled away. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. And welcome back, top six. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. That's in there, strike one.
Owen to as he waves at that one. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. So the lineup flips over, and now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. In there, and it's 0-1. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Righty to the plate. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Two outs, base is empty. Here is Matt Olson. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. And fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. The wind and the pitch. To the right side. Hoskins oh. takes it to the bag, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. They go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the 5-6-7 slots do up. It's the Phillies two, and the Braves one. Welcome back, and up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Leading up for the Phillies, the catcher. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Morton, back to work. Ground ball, left side, and that's just foul. Next pitch is popped up. And Real Muto is out. One down. Now batting, first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins, now at the plate. Say you win. The pitch. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. Now batting, center fielder, Matt Veerling. Matt Veerling stands in for the Phillies. And 
That one is lifted in the air. Duvall moving to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They lead it 2-1. Back here at the ballpark. Now here is Austin Riley. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base. But because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is inside, and now it's even one and one. And here it comes. Yeah, that's outside. Well, you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Looking to get the tying run on base. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Now all leave it up. One away. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. And yeah, the batter now, Marcelo Zuna. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Chases that one out of the zone, now two out. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there, just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you gotta protect the zone and then it's just that late break that fools you and kinda makes you look silly. Now in for the Braves, Ozzie Albies. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Two down, nobody on. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. On the ground to the left. Whips it across. That's out number three. Braves go down quickly here, and they trail it here, two to one. Bottom of the seventh. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Camargo. Philly, the third baseman, Johan Camargo. The right-hander back to work. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And Acuna able to make the grab. And there's one down. Now batting. Shortstop. Right there. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bryson stop. Slow roller to first, and foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back there, and that one is gone. The Rockets one to right, and they boost their lead. It's 3-1.
That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That's all for Charlie Morton, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Dylan Lee on a pitch here, please. and his job is to collect quick outs Atlanta. and keep his team within Number striking distance. Dylan Lee. So the batting order turns over, and now Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. That one's in there, 0-1. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0 and 2. And he deals. And there's a foul ball. Got him looking. Two gone now. Two outs, space is empty. Now the number two hitter, Alec Bohm. High in the air, out to right. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Jose Alvarado. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Ready to begin the eighth, and here is Travis Darno. Leading off for Atlanta, the catcher, Travis Darno. Shut him down now! And the pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. There's a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. The 1-1. One -one. There's a line drive to left field. Can't get there. Base hit. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Pulls into second. That's a double to start the eighth. The center fielder, number 14. Ryan Stinker making please. a move for a bat here. Guillermo Heredia. Nice opportunity for him. Runner at second with nobody out. Swings through that one. 0-1. Next 
pitched offering is in for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Now that the left fielder, Travis Tamara. Here's the left fielder, number 48. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The tying run at the plate. Strike two. In the air, center field. Deerland going back, racing back some more. Snags it on the run. Runner tags for home. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. It's 3-2. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Mm -hmm. Dansby Swanson next up for the Braves. That's in there for strike one. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. He got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. That one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Stays alive. the frame home half of inning number eight straight ahead it's the Phillies three and the Braves two so remaining in the game defensively Guillermo Heredia he'll be out center now after pinch hitting now Colin McHugh comes on now he has a great slider with tons of movement now pitching for Atlanta, number 32, Colin McHugh. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And digging in for Philadelphia, Bryce Harper. The Phillies, the designated hitter, Bryce Harper. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Righty delivers. Way inside, gets out of the way. A one two and down on strikes he goes and one out now next to hit Nick Castellanos Nick Castellanos in there for strike one some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher they don't care if they fall behind 0-1 next offering is in for a strike 
The Braves bullpen has some activity. Jesse Chavez appears to be getting loose. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. And a pitch. Here we go. And one and two. Oh, now this one blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Nick Castellanos goes deep, and they add to the lead. It's 4-2. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one. Everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And now it's going to be JT Real Muto. Now batting the catcher, JT Real Muto. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The 0 1. Olsen brings it in. Two down. The first baseman, number 17. Three. Hoskins. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Here's the swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He circles the bases, and they add a run. It's 5-2. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Well, here's Darren O'Day to take over for the Braves. Right-hander that throws from the side, really almost down under. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. So two away with nobody on. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerling. The center fielder, Matt Veerling. First pitch, and he just misses. It's even up. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And the righty deals. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Paradia racing over to make the catch. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Last chance coming up here for the Braves. Corey Knievel gets the call from the pen. Oh, 
new inning getting started. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal you a bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Here's your one. Gets him to chase after that one. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Well, I definitely say that's a now statement back. strikeout right the there. You come out of the bullpen, now. go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. Tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Matt Olson up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. That misses the zone, and it's 3-0. Here's a 3-0. There's a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know. Ripped on a line, and that one hops the wall. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. He's two outs away, and now Austin Riley. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Next offering misses. Yeah, that's ball 2. Two oh. Swing and a miss, strike one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative. But you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Comes the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now only one out remaining. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then carry that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. And next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. And first offering is fouled off. Olsen off of first with two away. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah. Is just one strike away. This one's high and deep, way back there, on its way, gone! He'll circle the bases, and they cut into the deficit. It's 5-4.
power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. And next for Atlanta, Ozzy Albies. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Into the game now, the southpaw Brad Hand. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next pitch is downstairs. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. This guy's sink has so much drop angle, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Close one here today, and your final 5 4. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby.